Okay, so for the final point, this is all bootloader related, I guess. Um, da -da 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 -da. We're gonna do yay, we're gonna do lemon. We're gonna expand our bootloader capabilities. Booster, there's an entry tool, snapper, yada yada, there's a hook, there's a hook, there's a hook. But uh, we want number eight. Okay, this so number eight will get us all those tools and that's what we want. Because you want to easily be able to um, handle your bootloader completely. And you want it to auto hook everything to automatically rebuilds according to plan. So we're going to do this before we end up doing full cache OS thing. I'm really going to have to shave this down or get rid of it completely. Because the hairs are starting to bug and go up my nose and I don't want that. Alright, so if we choose lemon. You'll see now that we have lemon, enroll config, entry tool, lemon install, lemon reset enroll, and lemon scan. Great, right? Not done yet. We need one more tool. And that would be five. So when the kernel auto rebuilds, it's going to automatically hook into lemon and it's automatically going to update the config. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. Wait, do we have... Maybe it automatically is already installed. There's only one way to find out. Watch this. Go in here. Search tools for this are horrible, by the way, so uh, don't expect much from it. They're not as fast or as efficient as you would get with Nautilus or Gnome. Because with Nautilus and Gnome, we'd already would find it already. Yeah, so this is not there. Alright, so we're going to do something different then. Okay. Uh, oh, there's the entry tool right there. So we're going to do four. Uh, and then we're going to grab five, six. Yeah, four, five, six. Oh, didn't let me do it. Four to six, like that. No, not four to six. Damn it. Four to five. You know what? Let's just do five. Uh, it's unfortunate that that means our other stuff is going to go away, like our scan tool, but. As long as we can hook it and rebuild it later, that's all that matters. And it did it. Good. Do we have anything else? Okay, so they're all still there. Great. So we have no problems. Now, if you want to add your uh, your bootloader entry, okay, do lemon scan. Okay, you got to run it with root privileges, which means sudo. And as you can see, it will look for all entries. You'll see windows there, everything like that. You could just add whatever you want. Okay, and then there's lemon update. It will automatically update what needs to be updated. Go. So we're going to clear this out just like this. And this next part is completely optional. As I said, we're going to add the cache OS kernel just in case you guys want better overall system stability, performance, things like that. Thankfully, they have an all-in-one installer right here that you just copy and paste. And it will value the mirrors. You'll install the mirror list. This, this part's going to be super simple and easy. We're going to select yes, yes, yes. Now, it's going to detect that we are probably on V4 CPU, and it's going to install V4 optimized packages. Now, these help with the, the system being more snappy and stable. As I said, doing this is optional. If you don't want this, you don't have to have this, okay? As of 6.15 kernel, doing this is kind of pointless. 
but in the same sense it's not because you get to optimize your entire system okay and these packages they tend to do that so i mean you could hit yes or no it's up to you and if you want to hit no then we would move the repos below all the other repos if you hit yes keep it as it is you should be fine but either way Everything is more stable and a little more solid. Okay? Personally, why not? It lets me install uh, DaVinci's Resolve a little easier. And that's what I want. Look at that. 120, like 50. It's going down, sure, because that's the smaller packages. But the bigger packages, boy, they do good. This also lets you install NVIDIA drivers easy, like you can install the NVIDIA modules and stuff like that. So yeah, part three is uh, just about this. And then we're going to go over as much of this as I possibly can render in my head. So yeah. Oh look, the mirrors failed. Well, at least we got all the packages. Conflicts, issues, generating locale. Upgrading packages, rebuilding font configs. There's just so much that you can do. Yes, that you can do. So, part one is going to be on Friday. Part two is going to be Saturday. Part three is going to be Sunday. That should cover everything. Look at it go. Up, up, and away. Part 4 is going to be Monday. Uh, I got to leave here soon. So I will literally record part 4 on Monday. Be a little bit easier. As you can see, it updated the lemon.com. Okay. Okay. So if you're the type of person that said no to uh, what we just decided to do and then you've been waiting like a good patient kind person i appreciate you we're gonna su sudo re-edit slash etsy slash pacman dot com and what we're gonna do we're gonna grab these repositories right here all the cashy ones we're gonna cut them out Die, you son of a bitch. And we're going to put them below the multi-lib repository. Now, this is only if you don't trust the packages and you don't want your system to be upgraded according to your CPU's performance and optimizations, which I completely understand because of installing all those packages is a bit scary. Okay, we're going to hit save. And we're going to do sudo pacman-sy. What that will do is, as you can see, it's now putting the packages below and we're getting issues and requests and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to do sudo pacman-s kernel manager. Okay, so they literally call it the cache OS manager. i do that. And then we're going to do chwd like that. And then I'm going to do yay dash e uh, tweaks. Nope. Is it tweak? Nope. We're just going to type yay cache and see what happens. Let's see if I could find the thing we're looking for. This might be a bit difficult. Huh. Okay. Let's just type tweak. Oh, wait, actually, there's a good way to tell this. Watch this. Sudo Pacman dash S. Uh, Kashi. Hello? Nope. Kashi OS. Hello. Yes, there it is. Awesome. So we grab the Kashi OS hello. Open the hello. We go to app tweaks. And then 
we can do rank mirrors. Great. See where it ends up working out well for us? Because now we could do yay. Dash US rate mirrors. Grab that. And we can go run this command again because that will hopefully fix the issues. Yeah, this is a little bit better. See what it's doing? And hopefully that will end up fixing any mirror issues that it ends up showing. And now that we have the kernel manager, we're able to easily install the kernel itself. Okay, see there's 15 megabytes, now it's 14. And now it's done. The fastest is going to be up top. Yeah. Another thing is sudo pacman s cache os settings. All right. So this is going to basically be another optimization step that you can do. And the last thing that we need to do is this. So this is all dependent on you. If you're on AMD. You just do Linux, Cache OS, Linux, Cache OS, headers. But if you're on NVIDIA, okay, you're going to do Linux dash Cache OS dash NVIDIA, okay, open. If you're, that's only for 2,000 cards plus. If you're on 1,000 card or older, just NVIDIA. Okay? But since we're inside of a VM and we do not have NVIDIA, we're just going to go with this one for now. This is going to install the Cache OS headers and the kernel itself. And uh, everything will be dealt with for us automatically, which is nice. And there it goes. And there we go. So now the uh, lemons automatically update it. We're going to go and type reboot. And as you can see, there's the Linux Cache OS kernel. And just like that, we are done. For now, until Monday. Monday... As I said, I'm going to show you how to make it look like my desktop environment, uh, which you guys seem to really, really want and desperately require, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. But I guess if you want it, you're going to get it. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. This has been part three. Expect part four on Monday. I will see you guys next time. Uh, all of this actually works outside of a VM, mind you. Please don't be one of those weirdos that like to claim that just because it happens in the VM doesn't mean you can't do it outside of a VM. That's not how Linux works. That's not how reality works. That's not how common sense works. You need to find a friend where you can share your delusions with, you know, and they will, they will let you have your delusions and also talk about them. That way you'll feel better and you'll be heard. And I want you guys to be heard because it's important to be heard. Okay? Very, very important. <laughs> it's true. It's really good for the mental health to be heard. But if your friend corrects you and tells you that's not true, listen to them. They might know. Who knows? They might be a subscriber of mine. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video. And uh, have a great day, great weekend, all that stuff. And I will see you guys on Monday.